honestly, it has just been too long, man. <laughs> I don't remember exactly how long it's been, but it's been a little while. I'm positive of that since we've played RimWorld. I'm excited to get back into it. We're doing... So we have the new Biotech DLC. We're doing a... Uh, not a pacifist run or anything crazy like that. Hey, Mr. Noodle. Um, we are... Like, we have disabled random enemy raids. We can still get raided for quests and things like that. Uh, but it hasn't happened yet. And, of course, animal attacks will still happen. Diseases, toxic fallout, and the like should be more common to help compensate. Um... But yeah, it's more of a, a chill, a little bit of a laid-back run, not focusing so much on, like, the weapon side of things. And instead, just trying to, to experience all there is with the new biotech stuff. We also have some crazy, uh, <laughs> pawns here. Can we see? Yeah, okay. So, Rue over here is based off of kind of like a dragon. They can spew fire strong immunity psychically sensitive a fast runner super tolerant to heat fire resistant but they're aggressive and sleepy uh robust reduced pain and the rest of it's kind of just like uh cosmetic stuff i think no wait dark vision strong stomach <laughs> poor shooting but great melee and poor social like they're crazy <laughs> <laughs> we did we did disable the little chat because you're not supposed to be able to have this many things on them But we disabled that. It's fine. We're just screwing around. We're having fun. Doesn't matter uh, Mr. Noodle over here was based off of a cat if I remember correctly You got psychic bonding fast runder cold tolerant sleepy very attractive uh, you're also have strong melee skills and strong animal skills Nate, however, was based off of a dwarf. So, strong immunity, psychically deaf, happy, cold, and heat tolerant. I don't remember why we did both of those, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> strong with melee. Got a lot of meleeers. <laughs> Just robust all around. Strong stomach. Dark vision. Elongated fingers. Bad at shooting. Again. Strong melee. Great at mining, though. And he does mine like a fucking beast. <laughs> Bad at planning things, not so great with animals, strong crafter, poor social, and alcohol impervious, so basically cannot get drunk. Chocobo was based off of, I think, an elf, right? Super immunity, super fast wound healing, super psychically sensitive, a fast runner, dead calm, never has to sleep, very attractive, terrible at mining, good with planting, crafting, and artistic. Uh, poor social, and I think I did that because I was doing, like, the whole, uh, idea of, like, holier-than-thou elves sort of deal. And finally, we got Optijack. I don't remember exactly what they were meant to be, <laughs> to be honest with you. I'm sure we had them based off something. If we, okay, we, we roughly based it off of, like, a werewolf. So they have some blood powers. They can, they can jump, <laughs> I guess. Strong immunity, fast food healing. Super clotting, fast runner, cold tolerant, aggressive, robust, reduced pain, strong stomach, slow study, dark vision, unstoppable, great at melee, awful at planting, art, and medical stuff. Sure. <laughs> Why not? And then these other people are, I believe, just baseliners, because we collected them later. Yeah. Baseliner, baseliner, and this is a baby, which sadly is a baseliner. Um... Or at least call it a baseliner. They definitely have some stuff. Very attractive, robust, sleepy, aggressive, cat ear. I don't know why it says baseliner. <laughs> they, they're definitely not baseliner. No major significant genetic modifications. Are you sure about that? Fast runner, aggressive, sleepy, robust, very attractive, cat ears. <laughs> uh, poor shooting, dark vision, and psychic bonding. That sounds pretty significant to me, man. I don't <laughs> I don't know. Your baby? Yes, your baby, Mr. Noodle. God, I gotta remember how to play the game. Okay, when we left off last time, I think we were trying to yeah, we were trying to get some some basic electricity stuff up. We started as tribals, so we we have less than like the, the standard going on for us. We got some chickens, and I remembered to put down watering spots. Good man. I felt so bad. 
for our, I think it was turkeys. We had some turkeys and they just died off because <laughs> I never remember to put watering spots for them. Places for them to drink. Feels bad, man. What's everyone doing? Ah, building some marble tile. I must have forgot to turn that one off. I think I just turned off, like, the flooring so that we could rush the, uh, whatchamacallit a little bit more? The flooring a little bit more? Oh, something's going on. A manhunter pack. Guinea pigs. A pack of manhunting guinea pigs have entered the area. Uh, okay. Oh, that's a lot, actually. So, we have a couple choices. Hold on, I'm going to get a drink real quick. We can fight them. That's always an option. Or we could just hide from them. We can do either one. I mean, they're just guinea pigs, right? <laughs> Famous last words, anyone? Um, I think we can take them. I mean, they're guinea pigs, dude. Come on. It can't be that bad, right? Hopefully, Mr. Noodle, like, puts down the baby. Mr. Noodle is carrying a baby while drafted. Yeah, can you not do that? Can we, like... Can we tell you to, like, put the... Okay, yeah. Place the baby in the crib. Everyone else, though, except for Mr. Noodle. That's my baby. Leave my baby alone. I'm trying to make sure your baby doesn't go to battle with you here, love. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to prevent. All right, get everyone else lined up over here. Uh, okay. That was off to Jack. Mr. Noodle, nah, you're walking awfully slow. I'm assuming it's because of the baby carrying the baby. Okay, they do all seem to be coming the direction we want them to, so that's good. Um, so, Mr. Noodle, go ahead and come on up here, dude. Hello, my good sir. I have come in good faith to let you know I have been practicing Civ, and I will kick your ass next game we play. <laughs> have you really been, like, doing some practice runs, man? That's good, though. I'm, I'm excited to see what kind of strategies you come up with, dude. Uh, who are you going? Auto? Let's not do that. Okay, Rue and Nate and Chocobo. All three of you are meleeers. Oh, God. We're, we're being overwhelmed. <laughs> okay, this is, this is going fine. Arter's not doing so well, but... <laughs> okay, is everyone dead? No, this one's still alive. Okay. think everyone's dead. That wasn't too bad. You want to match in Yu-Gi-Oh! Masters duels? Hell yeah, dude. I want to download that game one of these days. Or, play. Did I uninstall it? I had it downloaded at one point. I know that much. But I don't remember if I ever actually uninstalled it or if I just left it. Like how I greeted him so kindly. He greeted me that way, so I was just reading the message. I don't think I technically ever greeted him. <laughs> You're playing a solo game. Honestly, it wasn't to practice. You just have been craving more Civ. I feel it. I was... A, a part of me was wanting to play Civ tonight, but like... I, uh... Well, I mean, <laughs> I also kind of want to play RimWorld. There's too many games that need played. I have food. We are low on food. Do we have a harvest of anything coming soon? Um, no. Apparently it's too cold outside to grow food. So, I wonder if we should hunt one of these mega sloths. Who's starving? Mr. Noodle? Is there no food at all? I mean, there's kibble. Which doesn't exactly taste good, but it's technically edible. Mr. Noodle and Otto are starving. Chocobo's doing a sad wander. Like, hmm. Like, I am tempted to f kill a Mega Sloth or something. But we would definitely need, like, more people in order to, in order to really reliably be able to do that. Let's go on, like, super speed. 
Uh, objects on a work friends. Another manhunter pack, dude. Come on, Panthers. <laughs> we, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> we literally just had a manhunting pack. Okay, is it just two? It looks like it's just two at least. Man, Chocobo just recovered from his sad wonder. Okay, and tell you what, let Chocobo finish eating at least. Okay. Draft everyone. Panthers are down here. So maybe just like line ourselves up like right here. Oh god. Maybe don't go super speed either. Where are they going? Uh, okay, let's grab our meleeers. We're gonna get shot in the back. Hold on. Okay, grab our non meleeers. <laughs> get you guys to like come over here somewhere, maybe. Rue, Nate, and Chocobo. Which one's alive? This one. Who are we missing? Is, oh, Chocobo must still be doing a sad wander or something. Because it doesn't seem like we can actually make him do anything. Well, this one's alive. Wait, do you have Scaria? You don't. Let's go. Okay. Otto, how bad are you? Okay, you're not great. Who's close by? Mr. Noodle? You're kind of starving, though. You're butchering? Okay, we need food. So... Finish off the panther. Gotta leave Nate alone, because we definitely do need some, some food to be made here. And of course, that one died of Scaria as soon as we took it out. Lame. Tis what it is, I suppose. Pods arrived. Gene pack pain doll. That does nothing for me. <laughs> I don't even have the technology to use that stuff yet, dude. I mean, we'll take it, but, like, deteriorating in five days. Yeah, so literally useless. Um, we received the title of Freeholder from the Fallen Imperium. Nice. We must have did a uh, quest or something. Mr. Noodle's exhausted. Go to sleep. I mean, you only sleep about 13 times a day. All right, Nate. Can you make food? Just any kind of food, really. I don't care what kind of food it is, just... Mr. News collapsed due to extreme exhaustion. Mm. Wait. Okay, I get that you can't make baby food, but why can't you make simple meals? Okay, now it's an option. Our people are eating, like, raw food, dude. So, like, <laughs> cook some meals, my guy. You are exhausted. Can somebody at least, like, save the baby? Okay, Mr. Noodle finally got up. Yes, eat the real food, my guys. Okay. What, uh, what Civ did you play as, Optijack? Good, we have a bunch of hunting queued up. If Nate does anything other than cook, <laughs> no, you're fine. You still have 28% of your rest. Get more food. We only have 13 meals. That is not even close to enough, my guy. We need to grow so much food, man. One of our, I think, honestly, we're going to rush... Or try to rush at least. Um, the ability to grow food indoors. We really need to get electricity first though. Before that's a possibility. So, Nate's starving. Yeah. I mean. That sucks my guy. What are you making now? Must be pemmican. Pemmican or kibble. Why are you eating raw food? <laughs> we have meals. <laughs> My guy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Who's the next best cook after Nate? Arter. Arter's not bad. What are you doing? You're sleeping? You're consuming berries. 
Butcher. You can consume berries later. Stop eating raw meat! <laughs> we have meals right there! Why is everyone eating raw meat? <laughs> what is going on? I am so confused. Okay. Something else we should do in the meantime is probably turn up the fishing for everyone. That doesn't suck at it, at least. Auto's down. Why is auto down? Medical emergency? Blood loss extreme. What? <laughs> Did he never get... What is going on? <laughs> okay, auto is right there. Mr. Noodle, do me a favor. Tend to auto. <laughs> Are you fine now? Are you no longer bleeding? You're going to end up getting an infection, dude. Who's starving? Mr. Noodle, of course. Where? Why? <laughs> Consuming fox meat. Stop it! Why can we not cook it? Oh, you know what? We must not have enough to make a bulk meal. Okay, so... Uh, do until you have... Not 110. <laughs> 80. Same thing. And then Mr. Noodle, even if you're not good at it... Okay, undraft you. Nope, stop. Probably tell you he's cooking. Make some meal. I just don't understand. There's a meal right here. Consume. Uh oh, disliked food? You don't like. You would rather eat raw food? What? These are Neo Roos. That's what I want to see. Neo Roos. Um, how do I get out of this menu? I guess just click over here somewhere. How do we see our own religion? There we go. Neo Roos. Insect meat is loved. I don't remember setting that, but... Where here does it say that we don't like nutrient paste is considered disgusting? Corpses, cannibalism, blindness, fungus. I am very confused. Food restrictions, lavish. You're, you're allowed to eat any... Okay. What? <laughs> Consume simple meal. I don't care if it's disliked. Venerated animal meat. Oh. What's our venerated animal? Are they cats? Deities, narrative, memes. Where's our venerated animal at? Panthers. Of course they're panthers. <laughs> That's why nobody's eating them. Because they contain panther meat. Oh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Who's hungry? Otto, come consume a simple meal. You're going to be angry about it? Don't care. Come consume a simple meal. Everybody, come eat these meals. Okay, is Otto still grabbing one? He is. Ardor's grabbing one. Optijack's grabbing one. You're fishing? Don't care. Consume a simple meal. <laughs> I didn't realize that was everyone's issue. Was just because it was panther meat. Nate? Congratulations. You're going to come eat a meal. 
Noodle, you're looking hungry again. Come eat a meal. Rue, you are starving, my guy. Uh, come eat a simple meal. Oh, look at that. Optijack is hungry again. Come eat some food. Is it just always going to contain panther meat? How many of these contain panther meat? Okay, Chocobo's fishing. I actually wouldn't mind him continuing to fish. Nate, get up. Everybody's going to be super cranky, but... Pawns want to sleep together? Get over it. <laughs> I forgot about that, man. So we're going to have to... Okay. So for, for the food here... For pemmican, meat... Disallow panther. Uh, simple meals... Disallow Panther. Uh, Panther. And Simple Meals. Insect Meat's actually fine. But Panther Meat. Turn off Panther Meat. Probably need to do that for these other ones, too, huh? The insect meat thing. So, yeah, I really don't care about the, that. We have some eggs laying around, too. But, like... Oh, God. Another Manhunter Pact. And before, it's more Panthers. Uh, but I think they're all technically fertilized, right? No, ruined by temperature. See, this is annoying, right? These things are perfectly fine to eat. But it won't let me eat them. <laughs> That line is from a cheer in the movie Fired Up. Oh, I don't remember it. Wait, pan they ate panther meat and, <laughs> and Fired Up? Rimworld mod. I think there... Oh, that is not how you spell mod. I think there's a mod you can get. Ruined is unfertilized. Workshop. Steam. Subscribe. Okay, manhunter pack. More guinea pigs, dude. <laughs> what is up with these manhunting guinea pigs? And look how many. Oh, poor Arter. You're going to die, dude. All right, grab everyone. Draft them. Bring them over here. I mean, we don't really need cover because... They're guinea pigs. Like... Oh, they were the tigers and they were going against the... Oh, God. Arter's gonna die. Okay. Uh, Rue, Nate, Chocobo. Help, help out poor Arter, dude. <laughs> Arter's gonna be eaten alive over here. <laughs> oh, God, dude. <laughs> poor Arter, man. <laughs> He's literally being eaten alive by guinea pigs. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, that should be everyone. <laughs> Arter hardly had time to recover from last time. It's death in six hours, just from guinea pig scratches and bites. Huh? <laughs> Who's starving? Chocobo. Hey, Chocobo. Consume some panther meat. <laughs> be angry about it, I don't care. <laughs> All right. Nate, are you already cooking? You're already... Oh, wait, no. No, not refuel. Cook. More food, please. Cook until you can't cook no more, my guy. Hey, Mr. Noodle reached level 4 in medical. Go, Noodle. Okay, you're fine now. Rue, how are you doing? No immediate danger. Okay, Noodle, after you consume your simple meal, give Rue some basic medical treatment at least. Okay. How's Lulu doing? Is Lulu okay at least? 
Moo Boo's fine. Just very hungry, apparently. <gasps> we haven't been making baby food. Oh, okay. Well, Noodle, though, you're lactating. Okay, you're going to go breastfeed. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Oh, I was really scared there for a minute. I mean, it'd probably still be nice to have some extra baby food around, but what I'm going to do in the assign thing here, I'm going to edit the lavish meal and not allow baby food. Yeah. There we go. Because, yeah. <laughs> that would be bad. Arders has an extreme break risk why you're in intense pain you ate a venerated animal it's ugly in your room this hospital sucks and it's cold get over it <laughs> it's 41 degrees it's not that cold go ahead and uh where's the there it is go ahead and automatically refuel all these Mr. Noodle, you're kind of busy. Chocobo, what are you doing? You're fishing. We do kind of need the food. Pfft, bringing that back is also important. Activity, wearing flak pants. Consuming simple meal. Okay, after you do that, refuel the campfire. You're alive! Welcome, dude! But barely. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Tough day of uh, work and or school, I take it. Oh, here's what I was going to do. Uh, Arter's sick. I kind of figured. It's a minor infection. So as long as we make sure Noodle keeps treating, he'll probably be fine. And then clean. No, Arter. Bad Arter. Um, <laughs> you are sick, my guy. Rest. Mr. Noodle, you're starving. You're literally always starving. Nate's cooking more meals. That's good. We still have panther meat meals, dude. Why won't these panther meat meals go away? <laughs> Who's hungry? Objects hungry, and you're just sleeping? Congratulations, you get to eat some panther meat. Otto, you're fine. Rue, relaxing socially? Congratulations, eat some panther meat. We gotta get rid of these damn things. Hey, finally, okay. Hare meat, guinea pig meat, and fox meat. No more, no more, what am I call it? Other than people almost starving constantly, it's going well. <laughs> Nearus 4. And then I want to go to options. Or no, wait. I need to quit to main menu. Mods. Uh, ruined is unfertilized. Enable. Save and apply. Game will not restart. That's fine. Yes, your wife and child are still alive, thankfully. <laughs> they haven't they haven't kicked the bucket. Um, it's gotten close a couple times. And for some reason, there's a bunch of guinea pigs that really hate us. <laughs> like, really hate us. Uh, we have been t attacked by a large group of guinea pigs twice now. And I don't know why. Also, last time, we must have taken a quest to... Uh, fight off some panthers or something like that. I didn't realize they were our venerated animals. So everyone's a little cranky right now because we killed... Basically, if you were Egyptian and you killed a cat back in the day. That's what we just did. <laughs> like, GoldenEye 007 on the Switch? I did see that. I uh, Don't get me wrong. I liked GoldenEye 007 back in the day. I think it was good for the time and whatnot. Um, but I don't know if it really holds up that well in this day and age you know like it's fine but uh, i don't know it's just, it's just whatever to me bro you set that up did you forget yes i forgot 
Are you kidding me? Do you know who you're talking to? Of course I forgot. Okay, these are considered unfertilized now, so we should eat them. So that mod that I just installed, if an egg gets ruined for some reason, it turns it into an unfertilized egg. That way we'll actually end up cooking it. Instead of just leaving it, like, laying around forever. Being unused. I know we're low on food, my guy. Oh, we can make baby food out of just eggs? That's pretty dope. Bro, there's so much stuff we still need to do. And we've made, like, no progress yet because <laughs> we're just struggling to survive right now. Sad wonder, Mr. Noodle. That's fair. <laughs> Honestly. I feel it, man. Okay, our crops are coming. What's this gonna be? Bad seasonal temperature. Rice. Okay, and what's this one? Corn. Okay. Oh, you know what? We can get more uh, guinea pig meat, maybe. They haven't rotted yet, right? Yeah, no. They're getting close, but not yet. Oh, boy. So, Nate, when you get up, eat some food, and then just go straight back to cooking, my guy. Hopefully. Oh, wait. If you're sad wondering, though, who's feeding the baby? Ah, the baby's fine. Are we still growing hops? So, I don't think we have brewing technology yet, do we? Yeah, it doesn't seem like we are, so that's that's fine then. Oh good, Nate's awake. Okay, so what are you doing, my guy? You're making ball pemmican? That's fine. I'm okay with that. Noodle is starving. Eat some food. Or are we out of food again? Fuck, we're out of food again. Well, we're about to get some pemmican, so... <laughs> I guess you can just eat some pemmican. Or if you're really uh, desperate, you can eat some whatchamacallit. Okay, immunity is outpacing infection, so we should be fine on that. Ardor's in a daze. Ardor, you're very sick, my guy. I wish you would just lay down in bed. Playing the game of Ur. Yeah, you do need some recreation, but you know what you need more? Food for the colony! Ooh, we got another turkey. Yes, butcher all of the crap, please. Guinea pigs aren't exactly the most uh, supple of animals, I feel like, but... Okay, no, wait. Stop making kibble. Cook. Kibble's fine, but, like, we don't need kibble right now. We need food. A psychic suit. That's very nice, actually. Nearby settlement has a special trade request. They'd like to purchase 14 of normal plus quality head wraps um i honestly don't know if we can handle that Arter has a medical emergency i can't really do shit with him though yeah and his immunity's falling behind now because of how he's wandering around like uh, bruh <laughs> okay nate's cooking what's chocobo doing playing the game of ur Arrest Arter. I have to make this a prisoner room? Alright, Chocobo. Arrest. So we we gotta get him back in bed. Good, he, he went down without a fight. I, I do appreciate that. Okay, and make this a medical bed. Chocobo... You can be undrafted. Can you be treated yet? No, but at least now you're back in bed. Your immunity should hopefully start speeding up a little bit. Like, it was going well. His immunity was better than... Uh, 
breakup. Oh no, Nate and Rue broke up. Hate to see it, guys. Who's starving, Nate? Uh, you're fine. Just cook some food. Oh god, I think Arter's gonna die, dude. It's a torso, so it's not like we can just cut it off. Yep, yeah, Arter's dead. It's because of that stupid sad wonder. If he hadn't wandered around, he would have been fine. He's dead. There he goes. Oh, that hurts. Extract skull? What? <laughs> Rue, come back to me. What? You don't need him. My gosh, guys. Arder's dead. Uh, pff, okay. Uh, well, that sucks. How's that change our work schedules? Does it change our work schedules at all? Um, do we have somebody to hunt still? We do. We have multiple people to hunt still. We still have animal handlers. We don't really have a warden, but that's going to have to be fine. That, oh, Arter was our other cook. Still have a good miner, good plant cutter. And we're not worried about crafting stuff so much right now. Oh, Rue's our researcher. But they're not having much time to do it right now. Okay. I think we're fine, though. Sucks to have lost Arter, but it is what it is. Can somebody please bury him? <laughs> Chocobo, just whenever you're done fishing, my guy, do you, do you mind just, like, burying your friend here? <laughs> if it's not too much trouble, like... <laughs> How long are you going to be fishing for? Holy shit. Fishing takes a long time, dude. I didn't realize how long it took. There we go. Oh, no. Don't open grave. <laughs> I thought we could have, like, a, a, a thing for him. Huh, I guess not. Thank goodness for that psychic smooth. It's really helping everyone remain calm during all of this. Nate's playing a game of Ur. Your recreation sucks. Guess what? Cook some food. <laughs> Sorry that you really need some recreation, my guy. Don't care. <laughs> we need food. That's literally all I'm worried about right now. Happy Night Owl, OptiCheck, and Mr. Noodle. Full bars worth of food and storage 24. Days worth of food and storage 3. So we should be fine for now. Noodle, you could never disappoint me. Stream, I'm stealing your girl. Put my baby down before battle last time. I won't disappoint you again. Wait, what? <laughs> Shouldn't you always put your baby down before going into battle? I don't... I don't understand. That just seems like the common sense thing to do. Oh my god, you're really having to travel far for this, aren't you? Who's starving? Probably Nate, because I'm forcing him to cook food instead of eating for himself. Who's our uh, talker? Our best talker looks like Optijack. Central Colony Management. Okay, when you're done with that trade maybe they have some food that would be awesome oh you're a tribute collector you have fuck all never mind <laughs> just go away you're useless to me we have like steel and stuff right oh no we don't have any metals i guess that's probably why we're not building anything huh Okay, deconstruct some stuff that's just around the base. Because I think, I think these will give us steel, maybe components, um, whenever we deconstruct them. 
A herder from the Conga League is passing by. Huh. Okay. I know we're low on food. Trust me, I'm trying to deal with it. I kind of want to get rid of these corpses. <laughs> How's our food situation out here? Oh, wow. There's really not much growth. It might be because of the uh, weather, though. You were getting out at last time for not doing so? Well, yeah. What kind of person doesn't put their baby down before they go into battle? <laughs> like, hey, there's going to be some people shooting at me here in a moment. I think I'll take my child with me. Yeah? <laughs> what? <laughs> How is that a good idea? All right. Chocobo. Relaxing socially. I know you're not a cook, but you should still be fine to butcher at least. It's a cooking job, but stop making kibble. We don't have animals right now. We don't need kibble. I should just decrease the amount of kibble we're making by, like, a lot. Just keep a, a token amount around so that we can do some taming. But other than that, just forget about the kibble. <laughs> like... And if we're... Oh, we got another turkey. I forgot. Uh, any name requests for the new turkey that we have? Right now, it's just called Turkey One, but Turkey One's kind of lame. Heifer? Gibbles? <laughs> Gibbles and Gobbles? <laughs> I kind of like Gibbles. I'm not going to lie. We'll do the next one, Heifer. <laughs> oh, because Hennifer... Hennifer and Heifer. Oh, they're both cute, actually. Okay, well, Rue came first. So we're going to do this one, Heifer. But uh, we'll do the next one, Gibbles. <laughs> oh, you like Gibbles better, too? Too late. Mind has been made up. As long as the temperature doesn't get really bad, we should be getting another turkey in a few days anyways. So, uh, Your name is now... Heifer. Low food, starvation, I know. None of this is news to me. What are you cooking? Just regular simple meals? That's fine. Wait a second, are those rice? We have rice! Oh, thank the gods. Okay. Chocobo? Okay, cool. You're doing washing and stuff, Nate? Oh, you're still sleeping. Bruh. Uh, these people. Oh, for the first time in like forever, we're not crying about stuff. Okay. Chocobo. Since you're up all the time, let's get you to haul some stuff before you fish. Um, and let's turn down. Actually, let's just turn down everyone's fishing priority to back down to like five. Six. Except for Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle actually enjoys it, so we'll put you at a five. Still going to be a low priority, but it's better than nothing. Okay, we may technically have food now, but, like, we really need to get some cooked. So, Nate, come cook some food, my guy. Cook one stack of simple meals, and then... I hate having to, like, micromanage all of this, but... Otherwise, I think we might die. Okay. Butcher. We have we have some perfectly good meat, like, right here. Butcher them. Yeah, that's fine. You can, you can eat. Okay. No more corpse. Cook. Make more food. We literally can't keep up. Okay, well, if that rice has grown... Why hasn't this rice grown? What are the other ones set to? Set, set all zones to normal. 
and should be set to smart. Oh, this one's turned off. Okay, set all zones to smart. Just want to grab like one zone, please. I'm seriously not trying to dra grab them all. Okay, you're set to smart. Good. And then set to normal. Let's make the rice one, the big rice one. Or actually, no. Do we have like a, yeah, the close rice one here? I just want to grab the one, please. Thank you. Let's set you to critical. Like, make sure we always have that rice going if we can. And then, actually, let's do the same for corn. Because corn takes less work in the long run. But it takes a lot longer to grow. So, let's try to keep those two going as much as possible. Hey, we got electricity! Kind of. Um... <laughs> You're sowing fields. That's fair. Okay, when you're done sowing the fields, though, can we get some power going, my guy? Harvesting berry bush? No. Refuel the wood-fired generator. Let's go! Okay, so we don't have power everywhere yet. But we have actual power now, which is dope as hell. Um, who's still sleeping in bad beds? Optijack and Nate. So... Uh, set owner. Who's first in the list? Nate, you get that one. And set owner, Optijack. You guys get real beds now. Which means we can probably go ahead and deconstruct these. Or not deconstruct, uninstall. Because you can use uh, bedrolls for like whenever you go on adventures and stuff on the world map. Reinstall and furniture. Not slab beds. <laughs> We're not that mean. Where the hell's the regular beds? There it is. Bed. Oh, we're already installing one there. I guess, honestly, cancel this. Tell him that to move was kind of dumb. It's not that big of a deal. Bed. 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 Dope. Chocobo, what's up, my guy? What's this new quest? 35-year-old framer named Ronovo is calling from nearby. She's begging to join you at Olympia. There's some kind of threat, but she's unwilling to say what it is or when it might follow. Meh. If you can't even tell me who's chasing you, why should I help you out? How's Lulu playing? That was cute while it lasted. Ooh, we're about to get some new chicks. Catfish rotted away in storage. Obviously, we're not cooking enough, Nate. Get up. Go cook. If food is rotting away, you're not cooking enough. I really wish our dude that never slept was a better cook. I don't think Chocobo even likes cooking, though, does he? No, like, he's actually terrible at cooking. <laughs> but, like, bruh, it would be so handy since you never sleep if you could just cook all the time. Cook and grow food. Like, huh. We have plenty of ingredients now. It's just a matter of actually making the shit. Okay, tell you what, I'm going to cut back on the pemmican for now so that we can get some real meals, and then we'll put the, the pemmican back. I like the pemmican because it stays good forever, um, but it has a lower nutrition value, so we're having trouble catching up. So 
So hopefully by making regular meals, we'll be able to catch up with people's hunger more quickly. And then from there, we can start making the pemmican. Okay, we didn't just get one chick. <laughs> we got a bunch of chicks. Are you... <laughs> Holy shit. Noodle, <laughs> are you okay with... Uh... Are you okay with uh, the Gibbles being a chick? Or maybe I should change the turkey to Gibbles to match with Gobbles and then one of the chicks to be a uh, heifer. We'll do that. Training. Uh, Gibbles? Is that how you spelled it? G-I-B-B-E-L-S? And then chick one. Female chicken, age zero, birthday today. Congla congratulations, you are that. We still need one, two, three, four, five more chick names if anyone has any that they would like to throw in there. Hell yeah, dude. The more chicks, the better. I just want, whatchamacallit. Hot, wait, what? Otto doesn't follow our religion? Really? Teriyaki? <laughs> what religion are you, Otto? Fidelism? I don't know what that is. Check two. Training. Name. Terry. Oh. If I could type today. Teriyaki. Nice. <laughs> um, oh, what's that? I mean, I guess Gerb G Gerber. <laughs> sure, whatever. <laughs> Just because I mistyped it, it reminded me of it. Uh, sweet and sour. Oh, we can't put the and symbol. Just put sweet sour then. Uh. General those <laughs> and <laughs> name one Resident Evil four. <laughs> I don't think it'll let me put that long. We might have to shorten it. Hold on, Resident Evil four. Nope, totally fits. Okay, there we go. Resident Evil four. <laughs> Brownie mix noodle. I just saw that. Yeah, that's fun. We can get some. Uh, some brownie mix if you really want. What are you doing? Stargazing? Don't care, Nate. Stop it. <laughs> you don't get to have any fun until you get this colony full of food, my guy. <laughs> oh, this can be a uh, medical bed now. Same with this one. Medical. Mr. Noodle's starving. No, you're not. You're fine. Animal disease. Gobbles! Bro, we haven't even had you that long. How are you sick? You're probably going to end up dying, and that sucks. Hopefully, the immunity of uh, animals is better than that of humans <laughs> and wait you were our female you were our female too bruh I really hope some of these hatch into females chunks of a spacecraft ah cool deconstruct Nate is apparently starving. You're fine. Cook food. God, you're really having to go far to collect this stuff, though, aren't you? Oh, we need more people, really. We just need... Because we need people to be, like, haulers and stuff. Is it berries? Okay, we're collecting berries too far away. That's what our problem is. Let's go into the manager. Foraging. Um... Calculate distance on actual path. Only fully matured. But I only want you to do it in area one. 
and I'm going to zone expand allowed area area one if it's not like here then don't worry about collecting it man like we're just we're wasting way too much time going all the way to the edges of the map this will be uh foraging close So it won't fix right now, but it'll be better for the future, hopefully. Again, Chocobo, you may suck at cooking, but you can butcher. Uh, that's fine. Make one round of kibble. We're back to eating pemmican already. We have all this meat, dude. Nate, what are you doing, my guy? Get up. <laughs> Make some damn food. Okay, when you're done with that, cook more food. Does somebody want to come trade? We have money. <laughs> I just I just want some damn some damn food, please. For a robot that can cook for me or something, that would be great. This stuff should be almost grown, right? 91%, 72. Okay, yeah, so, so our food is getting there. We're about to get a bunch of strawberries and potatoes. What are we currently researching? Air conditioning. I mean, fair. After that, though, um, what do we need to get indoor growing going? Death rests, different s generators, flak armor. Hydroponics, there it is. Okay. That might be the next thing we grow. I mean, technically, you don't have to know hydroponics. You can still plant stuff in the ground. You just need a, a grow light. Advanced lights? Sun lamp. That, that's what they're called in here. Sun. Lamp. Wait, what? Do we already know how to make? Electricity unlocks that. We already know how to make sun lamps. Okay. So really, we just need a room. And we could plant stuff just in the ground of that room. Um, and then we can convert it to hydroponics later, maybe? So we were going to make this the church. I do remember that much. To keep it kind of close to the stock buy, I think I'm going to put it over here. We have one Charlotte wet food left after tonight. Okay. I mean, we can always give her some of the other cats wet food. It's not like it's harmful. 13, 13, 13, 13. Sun lamp. Sun lamps take a lot of power, but... And then we need power conduit. It's in daylight through a window in the roof. Ooh. Ooh. I wonder if that would let us grow stuff indoors with that too, but it's for later, I guess. Power, power conduit. Oh, we probably need a door on this. <laughs> Doors tend to be helpful. Uh, North and east. We can put them on the other ones later if we want. 
different wait you have two styes <laughs> bruh that sucks dude zone grow zone we're gonna need a heater in here too actually i just realized um Nutrifungus? No. I mean, I guess corn, because it takes the least amount of work, but it's also the most likely to die. Potatoes are pretty hardy, I think. Can go all the way down to 32 degrees. Oh, so can corn. Hmm. Let's do corn. We're going to have an indoor corn plant. <laughs> Light requirement, 51%. That seems true for basically everything, except for Nutrifungus. Yes, okay. And then we need some... Heaters. One left, now you got another same eye, bruh. That sucks, my guy. I'm sorry to hear that. That is rough. <laughs> okay, hopefully this works. I've never tried doing indoor growing without hydro before, hydroponics. <laughs> so I'm hoping this works this way, but I don't actually know for sure if it does or not. But it should. Like, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't, right? As long as it's right temperature and it gets the light from the sun lamp, then it should be fine. And you're connected? You are connected. Maybe we'll put our batteries or something in here, too, in these little slots on the sides. Where things might not actually grow. Local Muffalo has gone mad. Looks like meat is back on the menu, boys. Okay, let's grab everyone that's not injured. Sadly, that means it's going to be mostly <laughs> meleeers, but that's fine. Optijack has got a gun. <laughs> and Rue can spit fire. So, I mean, like, that's a thing. Okay, Rue, can you spit fire without, yes, catching anyone else? Good job. Okay, now just attack. Nice. Undraft. Uh, we should also probably put out this fire, though. Excuse me, everyone. Can you please put out this fire? I mean, conveniently, it should cook our muffalo for us, but like... <laughs> there we go. We could probably give... Oh, no, you're all terrible at shooting, huh? I was going to say, we could probably give another person a gun at this point. Uh, Chocobo's not that bad. Neither is Mr. Noodle. We'll give... Although Chocobo's really good with melee. Noodle has the trait that makes her better at melee, but it's... She's not actually that good at it right now, though. I think we'll just give you a gun. What is this? Toxabomb? Or Tox bomb launcher? No. <laughs> we'll give you an auto pistol. Or machine pistol, whatever. Nate, understand you're sleepy. Don't care. Butcher some food. Oh, we don't have enough power to run this thing. It takes 880 watts. How much does this... Only generates 1,000. Yeah, we're going to need a second generator. Do we have any other means of making power right now? Oh, we do have wind turbines. How much do wind turbines generate when it's blowing? Oh, but we don't have any... 
Hmm. We don't have any, uh, whatchamacallit right now, though, so... Batteries. Yeah, we're just gonna put another wood fire generator down. It's fun. I don't know if it needs a roof or not. But we're gonna go ahead and put a roof over them. There we go. Because once the, the roof goes up over here, it's going to be a bit of an issue if we don't have power. Like, right now. <laughs> Not going to have enough, uh, whatchamacallit, to grow if we don't get some, some power going over here. Missing a hundred steel. Do we have anything else we can deconstruct or do we just need to start mining? There's this. Ooh. Oh wait, no. I don't think we want to mess with that. We can deconstruct that ship chunk though. Here we go. Deconstruct, deconstruct. Look at all this steel on the map. There's plenty of it. Hopefully that gives us 100. If not, we can start mining some. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes. Deconstruct. Okay. That should give us a bunch, hopefully. Well, some of this might not give us any, sadly. Wait a second. Do I not have that mod? I thought I had a mod where, like, deconstructing this stuff actually gave you stuff. Blueprints, stuff so I have menus. Realistic rooms, smart speed. Tweaks galore. Don't pack food. Faster smoothing. It's Full deconstruct return. I guess that stuff just doesn't, like, count as having any... Um, ingredients, like when you build it, materials. Well, that sucks. Hmm. Do I prefer two or three pieces of ham on my sandwich? Probably three. It's hard to say for sure. Honestly, couldn't tell that much of a difference, but I'm assuming three. You're not even tired. Don't go to bed. Okay, this should give us steel at least, right? Yeah, okay. That gave us some. Hungry pen animals. Um, is it because you're sick? It's because you're sick. Thankfully, it is outpacing it, though. Oh, God. Our pen's not big enough. Again. How do turkeys eat this much food? <laughs> like... I guess one thing we could do, if we put up like a little fenced in area. How big's this? Okay, so it is 13. So it'd be to here. To there, to there. And then over here in the corner somewhere. I just want to do this because I'm going to put a little spot for hay in the middle of this. Um, and then, like, whenever they need food, if they start starving again, I can open this. Otherwise, I can just have it closed, though. I don't suppose I can build a roof on top of 
fences, can you? I'm assuming probably not. Which means honestly... Maybe we should... Aw, the dryad died. I guess because I uh, chopped down the tree. Um, hmm, okay. Deconstruct. Fence, I think, needs to go here. That means this door's in a annoying place. I'm just going to move that over a little bit, too. It is now diet. <laughs> yes, it very much is. I wonder if we can eat them. I've never I don't think I've ever had a dryad diet before. Oh good, another manhunter pack. I'm assuming we can, right? I don't see why not. Also, half our maps on fire. <laughs> I Ooh, oops. Also, welcome. Welcome brain damage. <laughs> what is it this time? Is it more freaking guinea pigs? Cobras. I think this is the second time we've had a manhunter pack of cobras, too. Just three? Four. Four is not too bad. I think we can handle four. If we're lucky, maybe they'll, like, get caught in the fire. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. Well, a man can dream. Oh, Noodle, why'd you bring the baby to battle again? Why, why is... Mm, there should be, like, default behavior should be drop the baby off before you go into fight. Like, honestly. Uh, okay, this one's the closest. Attack it. Next. Actually, you know what? Just search and destroy. Uh, you guys are going to end up getting shot in the back like that. Right, okay. That was a good fight. That one went well. Unforbid everything. But don't worry about hauling it away right away. Uh, put a bit of a buffer over here. For the fire. How much steel do we have now? Uh, we definitely have some. It just must not be on our stockpile. We didn't flag any to be mined. I'll just manually flag some to be mined. Uh, okay. Meal cooking is legit. But we have some. So when you're done with that, get us some, some steel, Nate. You're making me lunch and you hear me yelling at you. You brought your child into battle again. <laughs> Why are you trying to get your child murdered? I don't understand. Consuming simple meal. You are not that hungry. I mean, like, you're pretty hungry, but you'll be fine. One more. There we go. Safest with me. That's not the way it works when people are shooting at you. <laughs> That's like, if you're going on a trip somewhere or something, then like, sure, man, take your baby with you. Whenever there are invaders trying to murder you, no, <laughs> leave the child at home, safe, in their bed. We need like a wall as a fire break or something. Hopefully we get some rain soon. It's a lot of fire. I'm kind of surprised it's not raining already. Both the mom and kid die in battle. You can make a family meal. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, I wanted to have cannibalism turned on for this run. But uh, <laughs> chat was not having it. <laughs> Apparently, they're anti-cannibalism or something. I don't understand. I thought it would have been fun. Alright, our food situation is decent. We might be able to turn our pemmican back up now. 
course, we're so close to being able to make refrigeration that is it even worth continuing down that pemmican route? Let's just make like, I don't know, 10 per colonist. So they have enough for like a snack if we run out or whatever of regular food, but the nutritional value of pemmican just isn't really worth it. I want to get back to working on our floor at some point too, but we really need research and stuff to happen. Speaking of, it's about time we can probably turn it back up. Yeah, Chocobo does a pretty good job on the growing. I'm going to put research up to three. For real. And I'm going to turn growing down to five, I think. Chocobo is not only excellent at it, but never has to sleep. So I think they can handle it. And I'm assuming this is still growing, right? 6.2%. We'll have to try to remember tomorrow night. We'll have to try to remember to take a look and see if it continues growing. I've never tried growing corn inside a building without hydroponics or anything before. Normally then I would do like rice, but... Wait, what are you? A well, regular caravan. Warden Optijack, I thought so. Uh, I'm blind, there we go. trade oh, we could sell some of our chickens but nah oh we must have our turkeys grow up too um we could buy more chickens from you but i really don't think we need to do that a ram and a donkey meh neutramine we don't have a drug production up and going Herbal meds. Psychite tea. I would love to have some. But I don't know if it's worth spending our money on. Ambrosia's worth a lot of money. How much do you have? 1,147? Let's uh, sell you some ambrosia, maybe. But I love my family. You mean you don't want to eat your family? Reinforced barrels. Psychic shock lance. Gold. Uh, sculptures. I meant to put some of these up, but I forgot. Let's, uh, okay. So that is more than enough money there. Do you have anything that we want to buy? Psychic tea. I wouldn't mind buying some of that. Herbal meds. We're fine on herbal meds. You don't have components. Do I just buy your pemmican? Screw it. Donkey, nah. I think that's it. We'll sell you another sculpture. Or two. Or three. Yeah. Except. Take all their money. Get some Psychite tea, some pemmican. Lower the, the wealth of our colony a little bit. I think that's a pretty good deal. Okay, that's uh, deteriorating, so let's get that in at least. The silver will be fine, but... Okay, what was this at again? Forgotten already, 6.2. 6.2. Okay, Rue's getting research done. Hallelujah. You're working on air conditioning so we can get our freezer up. And then after that, probably batteries so we don't have to worry so much about wood fire generators so, you know genetics I do want to get into the genetic stuff sooner or later um oh the trade beacon would be really nice too though that's expensive Yeah, I think uh, batteries next. Or, you know what? Advanced lights so that our lights take less electricity. I'm assuming that'll work for the ceiling fans as well. I'm not positive, but... Mm 
we could probably get rid of a couple of these now. Hey, it is growing. Good, good, good. The torch lamps. I mean, we have electricity. And I think we have a decent excess of it, right? Oh, never mind. We only have an excess of 83. That sun lamp's taking a lot. Oh, and during the winter, we're going to have to be able to use our... Uh, our heaters to keep it warm in here. Not to mention keeping our freezer cold. Bro, we're going to need more power. Three wood fire generators. Holy hell. And that's the only thing we have using power. The sun lamp and that. I'm going to wait. I'm going to put off building another wood fire generator until Rue's done. Uh, researching the advanced lighting. So we can see if maybe that does cut back on these. So that's what? 200 per block. So that would give us another 100 watts of power right there. Which is decent. So are these ones actually growing? 3.8. I don't know if they are or not. It might just be leftover from before we had the uh, roof up. That's one of our ancient objects. And, well, I mean, we're not going to deny it, of course, but... Nice. But we're not going to rush to it either. Okay, temperature. Overwall cooler. How much do each of these take? I guess it won't tell us right away. Uh, advanced lights, please. Ooh. Biofuel refinery. Biological matter like wood or plant matter into chem fuel. I mean, that would let us use the chem fuel generators instead of the wood fired. But that's like a whole extra step. And I think, it, I think it's probably better to just move on to renewable energy, honestly. I think that's the way we should be heading. Okay, our food situation is steadily improving. What's Mr. Optijack been working on? Deconstructing crap. Which means we can probably go ahead and... Um, enable some more of the flooring to be done. Oh, you had chem fuel on you, too. <laughs> oh, speaking of, is this done? It is. Good, good, good. Yeah, because we are getting hungry over here. We're going to be getting hungry at the very least. So from here... Can I just, like... Is there a select similar? There is. Deconstruct. And then build this. And I guess uh, this section here, try to do like one row at a time or something. Yeah, whatever. It's close enough. Colonist lending? Three colonists for 26 days. I mean, Glitter World Medicine's really nice, but I mean, we could send like colonists that eat a lot of food. <laughs> we need Mr. Noodle around for the baby, Nate to cook, Chocobo to do everything else. <laughs> Optijack's our only builder. I don't think it's worth it. Not for a whole month, man. 26 days is a long time, especially in RimWorld. It's a long time. I think we're going to have to pass on that one. Thanks for thinking of me. <laughs> I mean, look, you're our researcher. That is still super important, but... 
it's not like the most important thing. Okay, since we're in summer and we actually have crops and stuff now, I'm going to turn down the hunting on Optijack to a level five so that you can struct first. Ah, oh, beautiful Aurora. Everyone's gonna feel happy playing Hoopstone. Deconstruct this fence. There we go. That's enough food for everyone. Good. And at some point, we should automatically start killing off some of the excess livestock. Pretty sure I have that set up in the uh, manager. Do I not? Oh, current. There it is. Yeah, turkey. Okay, maybe 10 is too much. Males, three. Females, ten. Ten is a lot. Admittedly. Let's do, like... I don't know. Six and two. Six and two. Just have it be the same of both. And same for the turkeys. Six. Oh, that closes it. Two. Six. Two. Keep one extra adult male round just in case. Oh, Jack is sleeping. I want to make sure he's actually doing some construction work now. I imagine he will be, but... What's our target for meals? 10 per person? Oh, because we eat so much. I was like, that seems like a lot of food. But then I remembered that we eat like 20 times as much as the normal person. A couple of our turkeys are sick. That sucks, but it'll be okay. I'm not going to name the sick ones just in case. <laughs> What's more chicken dishes? What's food made out of chicken? Uh, nugget? Um, I don't, I mean, it's not necessarily chicken, but you're fried rice now. <laughs> Turkey. Thanks. Give me. I'm good at naming things. Stuffing. Do we have any more that aren't named? That aren't sick? Kebab. Kebab. Stir fry. Oh, I like stir fry. <laughs> Cross the road. <laughs> We're definitely going to be getting more. I'm going to have to remember some of those names for that. I like cross the road just because of the lols, but stir fry, that's something, mm, I like that one. Oh, well, sweet and sour's gone. <laughs> oh no, fried rice! Ah, poor fried rice, we hardly got the chance to know ya. Well, <laughs> is what it is. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be getting more soon enough. I guess it sucks to kill the babies though, huh? Because you get so much more food out of them once they're once they're grown up. Let's keep at least five of the the Ah, eh, just whatever. Just keep a bunch of the babies around. Ten and ten. Once they grow up, you can murder them. Let them at least have a day of adulthood before you off them. It's life was short, just like grain or rice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could say that. Okay, Nate. Cooking food again. What do you do after you're finally done cooking food? Oh, you help construct. And then you mine. 
I don't think we have any mining really queued up other than that little bit of steel, though. We have some steel kicking around. You're too busy building marble tiles. Uh, oh, the lights. Oh, sh on only 13 watts now. Okay. That's less than half. Because it was 50 before. Well, that's pretty sick. I still, we're still going to need renewable energy or something to supplement, though, because we only have 83 watts excess. We still got to get at least one cooler going. Speaking of, Optijack, you need 88 steel. Nate. Uh, prioritize mining. Actually, you know what? Mining, I don't usually have too much of that set up. So, mine first, and then wrap back around to construction. Hey, Noodle, thanks so much for the five bits, love. <laughs> uh, spent 30 bucks on a toy for your dog. Or, yeah, 20 minutes later, it's half a toy. Yeah. <laughs> that happened, sadly. <laughs> At least he enjoyed it, right? I'm assuming he. He, she, the dog. Uh, colony management. You can do that after you build this cooler. I really want to get the freezer up and running. So we're going to be coming into winter. We're going to want some food stored up. Whether it's raw or whatever. 1,383. This needs 1,500. We're already short. But yeah, see, our baby food just rotted away. Wait, what just happened? Oh, we bred, though. Uh, <laughs> Bo's looking fancy. <laughs> like, the colors are nice, I guess. But those eyebrows... With the long ass whiskers, I, I, I don't know. Bo's just looking a little off right now. Okay, we need more power. Uh, batteries, research, battery, go. And while we're waiting for the batteries, we can go ahead and build a couple wind turbines, probably. Um. I can build them here. Nice. I'm going to disable one of them. I just wanted to have them, like, ready for it. Hmm. Build more, like, off to the side or something. Or maybe, can we build any that face up and down over here? Anywhere? No. All the water's all getting in the way. If I move these around, maybe I could fit more. But two should be okay for now. Disallow that one. So we need steel and two components. We should be good. We have all this steel over here. We should be able to build that. Oh, you know what? We're also... My words died on me there. Definitely going to need a power conduit that comes down here. means we're probably actually going to need more steel. It's really far away. Why is the manager not auto-flagging steel to be mined? Target 261. There's 56 in storage. 240 from current designation. Okay, well, I know those two right there aren't going to give us 240. So what's what's flag that's giving us that much steel? You chose the dragon to breed bow with because his name was Peter Enos and you giggled. Oh my god. You're such a child. Optijack's addicted to Psychite. That sucks. That means we're gonna have to try and keep some of that around. 
Seriously, though, what's this? Where's all this steel supposedly coming from? I've had this happen before. I think it was in the last game we played. Is it because I have deconstruct buildings turned on? Tell you what, delete, new job. Um, steel. Try to keep 200 something ish around. This item's allowed by the threshold filter on the map. Stop housing storage buildings. We'll leave deconstruct buildings off. And then, oh, you're sleeping. Oh, that one air conditioner is not enough. Even with the double walls and the shitty airlock. Okay, come make us other, our other thing here. We're losing too much food. Wait, what are you building? Missing steel. Uh, okay. And Nate's cooking again. That's fine normally. Mine. You're a child. Rude. God, our meals have fallen. A lot. Okay, we are getting down to Frozen, but the one was obviously struggling, like... Oh, not negative two. Yeah, 14, whatever. It's close enough to 16. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I'm gonna get it on 16. There we go. Now all this stuff should be frozen and not spoil. Do I build yet another wood fire generator? I don't want to. What's it cost? A hundred steel, two components. The windmill is the same thing. Now we're just going to build the wind turbine, the windmill. We need more steel. Of course we do. Okay. It probably just hasn't been managed yet. I'm assuming as soon as managing is done, some of this will be flagged. Or not. Why? <laughs> Why? Why was it not flagged? Maybe it just wasn't hit yet? I want to make sure it's working, but we also kind of need that windmill up and running. I don't think this stuff will die from lack of light, at least. I'm hoping it won't. Can I set it to be like... Okay, well, increase job priority, definitely. Um, Scheduled to update every one day. Okay, so it's time to be updated. Optijack. Manage. Still none flagged. Did it flag it somewhere else? It did. Where did it flag steel at? Oh, right there. Okay, that's fine. As long as it flags some, I don't really care where. Um, and also... Mr. Optijack, you can come speak to Manatee, the war merchant. 
Uh, poor health. Are you in poor health? Yeah, whatever. Uh, Boomalo for chem fuel is kind of nice. Just more pemmican for food. Herbal med we're still good on. Can sell you some of the crappy stuff we got laying around. Tox bomb launcher, I mean, I imagine that's kind of nice, but I'm not going to be using it. Paw pats. Human leatherhood. Cloth tribal wear, yeah. We're not going to be wearing that anymore. These robes suck. Okay, the kids' clothes we're going to keep, at least for now. Tribal wear. Kid parka. I don't know why they're in such bad condition. Is the baby wearing them? You will buy some sculptures, too. Yeah, whatever. Just take them all. That's fine. Is there anything else we want to actually buy from you, though? Probably not. I am half tempted to get a boomalo, but we don't need it. It's fun. Why are you fighting with Otto? Why are you such a dick, dude? <laughs> now you're eating pemmican? Just eat real food. Labrador Retrievers. Well, oh, you know what? Just get everyone in here. Because the Labradors should seek out people and they should come across those war merchants. As long as they don't like <laughs> cause the buffaloes to do something. Yeah, there we go. They're all down. Okay. Undraft. Uh, finish off. And finish off. Okay, get this one out of here. Thank you. <laughs> and also, clean this room. Otto's throwing a party. That's nice. Our moods aren't too bad. We don't really need it, but I'm not going to be upset about it either. God. Because of your stupid fight you guys had. Is it like really hot outside? 86. It's not that hot. It's like struggling to keep it at 16 in here, though. Even when no one's going in or out. It's double walled. I didn't think it would have that much of a trouble with it. Uh, finish cleaning this room. Thank you. Auto, you're not that bad, are you? <clears throat> I mean, you're bleeding a tiny bit. You're fine. All right, Optijack, you're resting. Missing steel. I guess Nate's been too busy cooking, which is fair. Do we have any other decent miners? No, <laughs> everyone else literally sucks at it. Okay. I want more haulers. One haul is a level four priority. When you're done doing your main job, go haul. Will that affect Nate? No. It, right? 
Yeah, his cooking's still set to that and his mining, so that's fine. Hey, batteries. Okay, cool. We have way too many building jobs set up, but we kind of do need these. Two should be fine for now. Building batteries that might catch fire next to our crops, probably not the smartest thing I've ever done either, but it'll be fine. Yeah, you're getting the power line set, that's fine. Prisoner Pansy. Acolyte of the Fallen Imperium has been caught in bed with the wrong person. She imprisoned the inappropriate lover in a show of rejection. Now she wants you to keep the prisoner caged until the scandal blows over. Suffering from paralytic abasia? So that just means they'll just lay around constantly the whole time. Right? Pretty sure. I don't want more honor because that's going to make things complicated. <laughs> the learning assistant... Strengthening the formation of new memories. Click for more info. Two times medicine. Two times learning assistant. Skill requirements. Meh. Eltec stuff's good. I think I think we'll just leave it. That's not a bad one. Honestly, that one's kind of easy, but it seems like. Group of poor travelers, including a child, are approaching looking for help. The travelers are begging for 22 herbal meds. I only have 29. And I'm hardly growing them. I don't think we can afford to do that right now, my guy. Sorry to disappoint, but... Okay, Nate's getting caught back up on food, thankfully. Hopefully that means soon we'll be able to uh, get some more mining done. We're almost caught up on everything. I didn't think cooking for the colony was going to be as hard as it is, honestly. Like, <laughs> people eat so much with the, the ridiculous amount of mods that we have on them. Like, we do have a lot of mods on people, and I, I take responsibility for that, but holy sh shit, dude. Why did my camera jump like that? That was weird. And you're going back to bed, and it, from the time you go to sleep till you get back up, we're probably going to be back in the hole with our, <laughs> with our cooked meal stuff. Arctic foxes. That's a lot. Do we just hide? We might just hide. And wait for it to blow over. Like we did last time. Well. Ah, uh, there are some travelers here. I don't know if they're going to be able to fight off the foxes or not, but... <laughs> No, <laughs> no, they're not. What do you mean travelers betrayed? <laughs> I didn't betray them. It's not my fault. <laughs> Bruh. That sucks. That's not me attacking, though. Why are you mad at me? Oh, well, they took one of them down. <laughs> okay. I wish, like, you guys would go to bed and stuff. Wait, what happened over here? Why is there a hole in my storage room? <laughs> okay. I don't know what happened there. Still maddened. 
At some point, they gotta go to sleep. <laughs> and once they go to sleep, I think they stop being mad. I think. The only problem is our people get hungry really fast. <laughs> so they're currently starving. Come on, go to sleep. You foxes, or, or yeah, you foxes. Somebody's exhausted. Oh no, oh no, okay. Um, now we have to fight. Because Noodle ran out there like a mad woman. Okay, go save Rue, or yeah, Noodle. Are there any more? Is that it? Search and destroy? Okay. I think that's it. Undraft. I guess that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Need research project. Honestly, what we need to do is get caught up on <laughs> all the stuff we need to do. What will make my life easier? Robots. What do we need <laughs> to get robots? Basic mech tech? Technology needed for your mechanator to create and control basic tier mechanoids. Yes. Research that. This project's text level is industrial. Oh, so it's just saying it's going to cost more. Yeah. That's fine. Um, For the food... I'm going to adjust it a little bit. Um, details. Pause when satisfied. Unpause at... Not 35, but like... Yeah, 6 meals per person at 42. That way we spend less time working on it. And I guess we're going to have to do the same for this one. Otherwise, we'll just switch to that. Unpause at... Well, for the single meals, I'm less worried about making those in general. So just like 50. Not even 50. Like... 25. That way if we're like... Begging for food, then by all means. Pause when satisfied. 35 psychites, fine. Uh, we can make more of this now again. 50 per person, unpause at 20 per person. Baby food, just try to keep around a bunch of baby food. That's all fine. God, our base is filthy. S Nate, stop cooking in this dirty ass kitchen, please. Thank you. And you're going to bed. Of course you are. At least it's a rainy thunderstorm this time. Hopefully everything won't catch on fire. Holy shit, I didn't realize the time. That's what happens with RimWorld, man. Oh, we got chicks. Stir fry. Is stir-fry two words? I don't know. It is now. Crossed the road. Um, <laughs> kebab. I remember kebab. Turkey two. got an infection in your left foot, Mr. Noodle. Okay. Um, fried Rice Jr. And we still have Thanksgiving. We still have stuffing. Uh... I don't know. <laughs> I'm out. 
Okay, Noodle's got an infection. That's not good because Noodle is the doctor. So... Nate, come clean this place up really good. At least. And Mr. Noodle, your bed rest is going to have to go to a level 1. And, okay, Otto is also a doctor. Not as good, but at least somebody will take care of you. Oh, you're still sad wandering. That's not good, Noodle. <laughs> your infection's gonna get so bad while you're just walking around. Oh my god, we're gonna have to cut off your foot, dude. <laughs> I don't want to cut off your foot, but we're gonna have to cut off your foot. I see it happening. Stop sad wandering. Are you done? You're done. Okay, auto. Tend to noodle. I don't care what you're doing. Get her some medicine. Wait. You're back to... Oh, uh, not romance. Arrest. It can no longer hold Divine Chief. Well, we can give it back to you. When you're done being the way you are. <laughs> okay, so just by arresting you, you should be good to set free. Um, I'm going to leave your gun banned. For colonists. Mr. Noodle, I know you're feeding the baby, but go rest until you're healed. Romance and arrest are pretty similar because you end up doing time either way. That's... <laughs> that's a terrible joke. <laughs> Lulu's starving. Well, somebody else can feed Lulu. Rue, you're researching? No, you're not. You're feeding your child. Wait, what happened? You you got a infection in your foot. And I'm like 90% sure we're going to end up having to cut it off. <laughs> because you were too busy wandering around psychotically to go to the hospital and get any help. Your immunity is slowly catching up, but not by much. Peg legs are all the rage, yeah. Everybody wants a peg leg, man. If we can keep you in bed and keep you... Uh, I don't know, honestly. It seems like it's going at about the same pace. I think we're going to have to cut off your foot, dude. <laughs> Contend now. Okay, auto. Tend. <laughs> uh, it's not my fault, Noodle. If you weren't wandering around like a crazy woman. Okay. 53. You're all the way up to 65. Yep, it's coming off. There's, there's no way. Damn it, Noodle. Okay, left foot. Uh, oh, and you're pregnant, too. I didn't realize that. Uh, install peg leg left leg. Installing peg leg, good. Again, yes, again. <laughs> and before botch surgery and you lose a hand. Let's hope not. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Also, have a good night, Rue. <laughs> Okay, what was I doing? Set owner. Mr. Noodle gets the other half of that bed. Assuming we don't, like, accidentally take out the heart or something. Like, <laughs> Noodle got a infection in their foot. So now we're cutting it off. 
That's what the baby's for, spare parts. Leg's a little too small, I think. <laughs> oh, it worked. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, no botch surgery. Noodle's fine. Just gotta wait for the anesthetic to wear off. Back to a three for that. Okay. Have a good night, Rue. Thank goodness. Okay, Noodle. Oh, you can't walk, so it won't let me do anything. Well, get up. <laughs> You're fine. How much more do you have on the anesthetic? 16 more hours. Well, okay. I guess it's going to take a little while. Um, Nate. Our food situation and everything's okay. Have you been mining by any chance, bud? Basic mech tech. Dope. Okay. So now... These things probably take so much power, dude. Hand signal. Subcore encoder. Okay. So that makes the basic subcores, which are needed apparently. This is also fairly large. <laughs> Why can't I build it here? What? Is it because of this crafting spot? I don't think it's because of the crafting spot, but... Ah, I guess it was. That's weird. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Put that there. Um, we're gonna need a mech recharger. I don't want it right in front of the door. This layout's gonna look so dumb. Oh, geez, this thing's big. Guess I'll put you down here. And then... Put you there, actually. And then maybe we can put you down here, too, and just have all this stuff together. I mean, it technically fits there. <laughs> They're gonna have to climb over this to get into it, but oh well. Whatever. Whatever. At least it's all together. But these three things don't allow them for now. As much as I want the mechs, I don't think we can afford it. Just power-wise. Oh, why are you wandering around confused? Because of the anesthetic? You just got up, bro. <laughs> okay, well... Whatever, as long as you don't get another infection and suddenly, you know, try to die. I guess that's fine. <laughs> you think they mean hopping? Psychite addiction, auto. Everyone's getting psychite addiction. I, I don't really mind. Psychite's not that bad. I imagine uh, noodles hobbling around. A nice clicky clack sound every time they take a step. Glad you could stop wandering long enough to get some food. Can you stop wandering long enough to do anything else? Oh, good. Our freezer stopped working. I didn't realize that stupid light came on. Mr. Noodle's no longer confused. Thank goodness. Oh, wait, you're cooking single simple meals? Why? Do you really not have the ingredients to cook better ones? On the plus side, our uh, corn's about to grow. Or, like, to the point of being harvested. If she loses that other foot, you may have to finish those mechs. <laughs> 
I'm pretty sure it's possible to get machines that can like regrow body parts and stuff later on. But that's the whole reason why I'm doing this uh, run without raids, like just the animal raids and stuff like that. Because I want to see more of the end game tech, experience it for myself. I've seen some of it in YouTube videos, but sometimes it's hard to keep track of what's mods and what's not. But I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure there is tech that lets you like regrow limbs and stuff. De-age your colonists, all kinds of crazy stuff. Oh, we're getting all the way down to cleaning. Oh, the other thing we need to do. We need to make you a... Uh, not you, Mr. Noodle. You were the divine chief. Yeah, no, that's fine. You were already the Divine Chief once. We just, you know, had to arrest you because you were dying, but you refused to get help. There we go. Why are you cooking singles? Did I set this stuff up wrong? I did. Pause when satisfied. Oh, this is only set to 70, though. Okay. So let's unpause that one. And that should be synced up better now. There we go. Now we're cooking bulk. Oh, you know why? It's because this isn't set to... Uh, Expert colonist. Ten per colonist. Unpause at... I don't know. Twenty-eight. There we go. So now, Nate, after you're done butchering, you should, fingers crossed, actually go mine some stuff. So we can get steel, so we can get power, <laughs> so that we can grow our corn in our greenhouse. Yes, finally, okay. Thank goodness, man. Why is there a random... Oh, from... From those uh, random people that were visiting and died. These people. Oops. Yeah, sorry about that again. Blank cutter. Biologist. Borba, the child. Let's get some more graves. We're obviously going to need them. Freezer's working. Optijack. Consuming a simple meal. And you're working on the wind turbine. Alright, so as soon as you're done with the wind turbine, the next thing I need you to do, assuming we have the steel, is get at least one battery done. Please don't botch. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I think the manager has a thing we can do for tree cutting. Um. No, wood logging. New job. Oh, wait. I was on new job. Okay, yeah. Clear wind turbines of all trees. Or no, just anything that blocks wind, actually. And cover. Yeah, manage. Oh, and you got both batteries up. My guy. Look at that excess power. That's beautiful. Okay. Toggle the power back on. We can finally start growing stuff indoors. And now with everything running, 
we have well it depends on <clears throat> whether this is turning at full speed or not I guess I'm gonna have to go ahead and allow this one too we have components we do okay close some of this crap We have so much hay. I've cut it back so much, but we're still growing a ton of it. Or just have a hold of a ton of it, I guess. Which was the point, I remember now. Uh, not clear loud area. Build roof. I'm gonna put a roof there. How do I... There we go. Um, because we are going to put a stockpile here. Max priority. That only allows hay. That way, if our animals ever need it, or we just have way too much of it laying around, we can just open it up and uh, let the animals start eating. Because with as many chickens as we have, yeah, <laughs> it's not going to be enough food, sadly. We might actually have to start growing more hay. Or I guess start cutting back on the number of chicks, but like, I like having some, some baby chickens and stuff roaming around. Plus, it should be a pretty solid source of, of meat. There's not quite enough beds left for all of them, though. <laughs> oh, well. I don't think they can eat that stuff. I don't cut brambles. So I don't think they eat brambles. I'm pretty sure they get in the way. And bushes. Thorn. I don't think they eat that either. Leave the berry bushes, though. I'm pretty sure these will automatically connect from the, the power conduit. But just in case, like, one of them blows up or something, I'm going to go ahead and do a big long line of it there. Look at that beautiful full battery. That's draining quickly. <laughs> it's because there's like no wind right now. Need research project. Yeah. I just don't really know like what's a good one for us to get right now. Geothermal. We could start working on that. That's a good source of power. Solar panels are consistent, at least during the day. And they're relatively cheap. Drugs would also be nice to be able to make. Now let's get beer. Beer's cheap. It's more stuff for our people. Since we have pretty decent power now too, let's get an actual like light in here. Is it under temperature? Yeah, ceiling fan. I guess here. I wish there was a way to center it better, but... Actually, you know what? Hold on. Cancel that. Get one, like, here, and then one, like, there. So they're both off-center. Deconstruct that. There we go. Plus, I want to keep the temperature in here consistent, because, uh... Okay, so the corners aren't growing. Good to know. Um, because I think I'm going to put the beer brewing in here once we get it unlocked. Oh my god. That corn, though. Bruh. <laughs> we might be able to cut back on some of our food production now. I'm just scared of the winter. <laughs> I'm going to tell them, since we have that, that one thing here, I'm going to tell them to, uh... 
turn that one off. Normal priority, but like, what about ethanol? I don't think that's an option. You can make biofuel, but I don't know if you can make it from corn. Where is it? It's in here somewhere. Biofuel refining. Ah, it does say plant matter. Maybe? So we could replace our wood fire generators. I mean, generally, like, long term, you don't normally do much with the, uh, with the generators, though. We should probably replace some of this with Psychite. Hopefully we just grow enough during the summer that it's fine. Oh, dope. We got both of our things up. So how much excess power do we have? With everything running full tilt, we have a lot of excess power. Until we get a zit and lose everything. Alright. I guess that means... These just take steel and components? Yes. Allow. 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 Can we get some simple bots? Gestator, recharger. I think we need the subcore encoder first. I don't know what kind of job that is either, but... Wait, what are you missing? Steel. Of course. It's Nate. He's cooking. That's fair. We do have to keep some food around. Hope you guys like corn, because <laughs> that's the only thing Nate's going to be cooking for a while. Uh, let's turn fishing down to a level 9 for everyone. Like, if you have nothing else to do, then sure. But we are so good on food right now that, yeah. Beer brewing? Awesome. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Is that under production? It is. Fermenting barrel. Raw wort into beer. Brewery. Okay, so we can probably make the wort over here, I'm assuming. Like in our production area. It'd be nice to get like an actual kitchen, wouldn't it? Do I put another door in the back of here? I might. It's such a small area. The two coolers should be fine. Yeah. Okay. Structure. Wooden wall. So this is going to be... Our... Uh, eating area. Uh, floors, wooden floors, and I never remember, where are the, are they called mat? Yeah, doormat. Let's get all that popped down. And then get this reinstalled here, along with... These really crappy stools. Oh shoot, when I clicked reinstall on this one again, I think I canceled the last one. Noodle, I need the chair you're sitting on, please. Thank you. And we're gonna want at least one light down here. Uh, is there a build copy? There it is. Probably going to want a couple, actually. One there. One there. One here. And one here. Is that centered? One, two... One, two, yeah, okay. They're not centered, but, you know. And power. Let's 
inspired trade. Too bad we don't have any trading opportunities right now. Nate is hauling steel. That Optijack will hopefully be using to the subcore encoder. He is. Oh god, it's already after 2.30. Okay. After this subcore encoder comes up, we're probably going to have to call it. Uh, construction botched. Bruh. Okay, work on it more. Wait, what? We're missing the components because you ruined the shit. Okay, is this... Yeah, compacted machinery. Let's add that to the manager, I suppose. New job. Um, machinery. Try to keep at least, like, 30-ish around... Manage. And in the meantime, mine a couple of these for us, Nate. Oh, that stuff might have been closer, but oh well. What's Nate doing? He's sleeping, of course. Burning Arctic foxes? A trader is calling a pack of 15 wild Arctic foxes are hunting him. Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, can't help you with that, my guy. We almost died from Arctic foxes not all that long ago. <laughs> like, not happening, dude. I didn't even realize it was daytime. If the sun lamp hadn't come up because of that eclipse, I had no idea. Oh, we also wanted to get a uh, door over here. A door there. It's going to mess up our everything, but... I do definitely want an airlock on it just to help with not only power draw, but also just keep things reasonable here. Once we get the one door up, I'll deconstruct this wall. Okay, Optijack, your sleeping is fine. Get that door up. Good job. Okay, deconstruct. I really hope people just don't use this as like a quicker way to get around. I'm also really mad about this thing right in front of the, <laughs> right in front of it now, but what are you gonna do? Okay, components. But you're not even tired, get up. The porn coder. Try not to mess it up this time. Why are you eating? Because now we don't have enough steel. Of course. It's always something with these people. <laughs> Alright. Are you going to get some steel for us now? That's some weight. Mine. Okay. Optijack. Work on the subcore encoder. Oh god, it's already fall. Yeah, see, we have a bunch of food stored up, but it is already fall, so I'm not too upset about having some extra laying around. Bro, why do you keep stopping? Uh, okay, you were pretty hungry that time. I'll give you that. Please. Please don't screw it up again. That's really expensive screw-up you had there, my guy. Not always until 3 p.m., like, I planned on getting off around, like, 2.30, but I just wanted to get this stupid subcore encoder. But, uh, sometimes I <laughs> end up playing till 2.30 on Fridays, yes. Yes, let's go. Okay, subcore encoder, basic subcore, 50 steel, two components. That's not that bad. Do until you have, let's just try to keep 
two around at all times that seems fine now what kind of job is that y yeah delete clone I don't know what that is is that just a crafting job or is it a smithing job make things at subcore encoder okay that's smithing so who's our best smith? Chocobo. Is that worth putting up to a four over arding? Or we just turn your hauling back down to a five? I was enjoying having things hauled around, but yeah, I think that's honestly what we're going to have to do. Okay, everyone's slowly getting addicted to Psychite. How much Psychite tea do we have? Wait, we have some, right? 68. Fifty-five percent grown. I think we are gonna have to switch some of this over to uh the Psychite. Just to make sure we have some during the winter. It takes a surprisingly long time for Psychoid to grow. Or Psychoid, whatever. Or. It won't help us this year, but maybe next year we'll convert some of this to Psychoid as well. Oh, God. Our animals are going to start thirsting to death. Um... Wait, what? No unreserved water sources? What is this? Is that not a water source? Uh Okay, I'm going to do this now just cuz otherwise I'm going to forget. And then we're we're actually getting off. Okay, maybe somebody had already had it reserved. Okay, I think we're fine. I think somebody just already had it reserved. But you know what? Having a well right here for them to refill water sources from will actually be handy anyways. Like, Okay. All right, we're fine. Everything's fine. Nobody's starving right now? No. I don't think so, at least. All right, yeah. So we got the thing that I was hoping for. So we're going to call it there. Um... I guess you're already in the middle of arting, maybe? But why are you arting instead of smithing? Both are set to a five. Not a mechanator? How do you make someone a mechanator? Huh, okay, whatever. <laughs> That's it. We're done. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit while we continued our Neo Roos run here. I do appreciate you guys uh, hanging out with me while I play. Um, Chocobo, you're welcome to be the Mechanator as soon as I figure out how the hell you make someone a Mechanator. <laughs> That'll be a problem for the week after next, I guess. Oh, Roo building stuff scares me. Um, please don't fuck it up. Anyways, though, have a good night, guys. I appreciate you all. I'll see you again most likely Sunday night. Have a good night, everyone. Oh, and as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, <laughs> y'all.